<laughs> Hello, everybody. Wahoo! I'm we are Spencer. here. I know. I'm so. I'm so stinking excited. Um, <laughs> let's first welcome in everybody. Okay, cat, totally stop right. attacking my notes. Thank you. All right. <laughs> going to be one of those okay my mouse is acting all funny but okay hey Rolando no don't walk out okay say hi say hi kitty soft eyes <laughs> say it's all about you huh yeah, Over there. Sure. Not camera. You know, weird okay um uh, yes hi Rolando but yes, Hi, good to see everybody you. here. Yeah, let's see. Hi, Dale. And that's, I know it is a cat sighting. Let's let's not bring attention to it, okay? Oh, cat sighting. Hi, Chip. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Hi, Jeff. Okay, so start off, I put it in the warning. I put it on Twitter in the warning. There is going to be spoilers, so gonna have to deal with that but before we get into kind of like our first initial thoughts and mm -hmm. everything i'm gonna show this if you have something to show you can show this i got so this oh, is nice. not what i ordered online my order got canceled online um oh. the one online is like holographic or whatever um they said there's something wrong with the shipping company and i'm supposed to be getting a refund I haven't seen that yet um but i'm gonna try and order it again because the cups that it comes with is um, a Godzilla and a Kong cup with a topper. So I want those still, but I did get this. So this is pretty cool and it comes with their names and it's, you know, bubbled. So very cool with that. Yeah, that's awesome. They did come up with a, they had a Kong version, which this makes me think of like little Mighty Mugs. <laughs> oh, those. I've seen those. Those are awesome. So this is because the guy, I was like, hey, I want this. And I was like, and I want a Kong or a Godzilla cup. And he's like, okay. And then like she she's doing something because he's like, you want popcorn or you want butter? And I was like, yeah. And then she dropped this off. And I was like, what is, don't not mess with the camera. Sorry. I was like, <laughs> what is that? And he goes, well, that's what I charged you for. And I said, no, no, no. I said, you guys are advertising a tall cup with a Godzilla topper or a Kong topper. And he goes, well, we don't have that. <laughs> There's okay. literally a movie screen that's mm. like changing all the stuff. So it's actually yes. showing you this yeah. is, hey, buy this. But I think that's what will you stop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <gasps> anyway, so I'm still going to get those, but at least I did get you know, a little something. And then that's cool. There was a table full of posters, but it was like. Uh, what was it? Some movie I don't remember. And then um, the Atlantis dude, what's his name? Aquaman. So it had him. <laughs> his posters on. There was like a ton of posters left. Here, do you want more treats? Is that why you're a psycho? Come here. She's like getting into everything. I couldn't don't walk on the laptop. <laughs> <sighs> no, it's great to see everybody here. Uh, so we've gotten more people in the chat. Oh, do we? Uh, okay, let me. Okay, yeah. my mouse is funny, so I, I'm gonna be a little slow. Oh, hey, JD. Let me wait. Go back up. I, I will say I was planning on being on camera tonight. My my camera is like being difficult tonight, so I'm not. I may just need to buy a webcam. So, but yeah. Hello, I, I don't think I've seen you before. So thanks for joining. Welcome, me. Sean. Great to see you here. Uh, he he does a good channel. Does a bunch of uh, he's been hitting on really hard on shorts recently. Keep up the good work. It? Awesome. I'll have to check you out. Hello, Salacious. Um, I got Salacious JD. JD. Oh, and Ricardo. Can't forget Ricardo. Of course. Hello. Absolutely great to see you all here. Yeah. Yes, um, okay. this should be fun. Again, major spoiler, so you don't want to know. <laughs> But okay, so I, I guess before um, we get into the spoilers, we could get into uh, I guess generalized talk yeah. before we get into so, specifically. 
without like spoilers or whatever like that, what is your initial feeling of the movie? What would you rate it? That kind of thing. Initial feeling was I thought it was a really fun time. It's right. If you're absolutely wanting to just go and have a fun time, uh, you, what you're it's one of those movies that I think you're if you've watched a trailer, you know what you're going in and going to get, which is a fun, just monster action. It's mm -hmm. it's action packed. You get a lot of all the monsters. Uh, yes. And it's it's just a fun time. Uh, uh, rating would be tough. I don't I don't know. Like I'd I'd honestly so just out like, of ten. Probably, yeah, I, I'd say I. I think I'd probably give it like a solid eight. Like it was a really good time. Okay. I definitely consider seeing it again. And okay, I think it was just a really solid sequel to Godzilla vs Kong. I think I prefer Godzilla vs Kong a little more. Like I think I'd probably put. That I was going to ask. At like okay. a, a nine out of ten, maybe. But like this one. Okay. I think it's a solid continuation of that story. It continues delving yes. in what I think was the most interesting human plot line or sort of idea of that the um, Godzilla vs. Kong introduced. Right. Okay. Absolutely. That's awesome. Um, so, I mean, for just based alone on the action and how much how many kaijus that which i was really surprised that that we got i'll say 10 out of 10 mm -hmm. on that one because when you look back at 2014 since it has been the 10-year anniversary like you know a big complaint is well it's lacking it's you know just a human mm -hmm. movie <laughs> <laughs> there's none of that it's like right off the, the gate in your face we're dealing oh, with yeah. kaijus like this yeah. is if you don't like kaijus, don't watch this movie. Like, <laughs> right. There's no point in it. You you love kaijus, and even if you don't know them, still it's mm -hmm. it's a great it's great. So, um, I did see a review that said there's no emotion. Like, and one guy's like, "Well, it's a monster versus a monster. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect?" But listen, I was emotionally connected with it. I got choked up a little bit. So. I mean, I don't know what that says about me, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, I, I definitely think they tried to add a good bit. And I, I think on some parts, I, yeah. I think it delivered more than what some of the reviews are saying in general about yes. the yeah. uh, human storyline specifically. Yes. I thought that was like, I saw a lot just saying that it was boring, not that good. But I was like, Lacking. I think what they're doing with it was really interesting. I, I thought it was mm -hmm. a pretty solid human storyline. And I, yeah. I, I definitely think it's among the better storylines that we've gotten among these yeah. like monster kaiju movies for sure absolutely um you know you know people saying well there's not really a, a, a big storyline and stuff there was it's just i think it was more of like from the kaiju's perspective more than anything because yeah. i mean there was a lot going on but <laughs> you were just instead of you know humans explaining everything it's just you're mm -hmm. literally seeing it happen <laughs> and unfold in your, right. you know, which I mean, a lot, a lot of people I don't think were expecting that. So they're like, well, it's lacking. No, 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 no. Um, Ubaldo said he, uh, he loved it and he's going to watch it again on Sunday. Yeah. I, nice. I, very good possibility. I, I could go see it again. Like it's definitely one of those movies. It's very easy to go see. Like when Godzilla vs. Yes. Kong came out, I, I saw it like three times when it first came out. One yeah. of those times is in a theater, but like since it played on HBO Max, I'll watch it like at home two other times. Um, right. But like it's yeah. such a great movie. I don't know what happened there. Sorry. Try to, try to um, pass it me out now, Jeffrey. Um, I know, right? It's yeah. the plot <laughs> show. Uh, no. Um, uh, yeah. Um, like, and we didn't get to see Godzilla versus Kong in the movie theater because of COVID, and there was no way my anxiety would have allowed that. Gotcha. So for this one, I definitely, you know, want Rocky to see and, you know, was talking to him. So we are going to try to go at like an off time so it's not so busy um thankfully mm. because the time i picked it was like three in the afternoon it really wasn't packed at all like i had seats empty next to me and stuff which is good because i kept hollering at the movie screen the whole time <laughs> so <laughs> i'm pretty sure people are probably annoyed with me but i didn't know that so and I... I know rolando saw it he also thought it was a great movie Would nice that's awesome yeah i um my, diff my my experience was a little different. I saw it at more of like a more prime time of like seven ten. 
Uh, right. I saw it at what I what my family calls uh, at least that's what my grandfather dubbed it as, and that's what I've been calling it since is a yeah. IMAX screen because I went to Regal of where they have what is technically an IMAX screen. It count it checks oh, okay. all the boxes to count as an IMAX screen, but it's not really a full on right. IMAX experience. Yeah. And so, but like it's kind of like the it's one of the two best options I have around here as far as like right seeing movie a movie theaters. on the best big screen possible. And that's the only screen around me that has the IMAX ratio. So, like, if there's a big movie I want to check out with the IMAX ratio, like, like with Doom Two, and then I just did it with this. Yeah. Um, I was like, okay, that's the one to go with because anytime you got into like all the big kaiju battles, anytime yeah. there's action on screen, it went to the full IMAX ratio, which was fantastic. Oh, that's um, kind of cool. Like the slower parts, it was like still your regular size screen and yeah. stuff but once it gets into the main stuff it 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 go it goes it takes up the full screen and it, it was glorious when it did all that that's awesome that's awesome i was in the xd theater so it was just Those are nice. <laughs> yes that it is how like, those go there's no way Raphael would survive this because he he doesn't do well with clouds down so i mean he has no. to you know cover his ears so i mean he would just be doing this the whole movie <laughs> because the music was oh, always right. loud, but you know, I have to say, like, I really enjoyed the music in this one. Um, I because of all the different songs they played, I I enjoyed it a lot more in this, and I felt like there was humor, like basically from start to finish, which I really oh my gosh, liked we have the uh, oh what's that? I don't remember his name, but like the podcast dude is back from Godzilla vs Kong. Yep. I yeah. love him. Uh, he still carried like the show as well as the yes, um, that great. one. That the other dude's new, right? The uh, oh, what do yes. they call it? I don't remember his name. But we've got this other dude that's uh, just hilarious. Um, I'm not sure his they were great. Uh, they they they, they really know. helped carry the like human storyline as well. Uh, it, it was yeah. just fantastic. Yeah. No, I I thought all of them killed it. I'm glad they didn't replace Gia. I'm glad she's still the same girl from. Um, the first Godzilla and Kong movie. Mm. So I'm glad they kept her on. Um, but yeah. So I'm I'm very impressed with it. Loved it. I definitely want to see it again. Um, if you sure. can see it in the theaters, it's definitely it's, definitely worth it. I mean, some movies I just think you kind of have naturally a little bit of a better experience sort of watching in a theater. Mm -hmm. Like I'm one of those people that yeah. if it's a movie I legitimately want to see, I want to go see it on a big screen. I want there's i find it harder for me personally to focus on anything i watch at home and like okay nothing wrong is that but like just yeah. at least when you compare a movie to a movie it's uh, there's nothing like to me a theater experience because part of the theater experience mm -hmm. is it's their job to also get you more engrossed in the movie uh right. you know playing it on that bigger screen and just right. you know making the light, lights darker so it's just you and the movie mm -hmm. um and it's this is such a great movie to do that with. It's uh, I was told like one of my friends earlier is just like it's just a great eye candy movie the whole time because it's it's it it's a lot yes. of monsters throughout yes. most of that movie. And when you have these big visuals on screen, I want to see it on a huge freaking screen. Uh, yes. And so I freaking love it. Like if you're someone that's into these monster kaiju movies this is for you because it's just I'm go are you okay no she bit me oh what a dick <laughs> she like rolled over and bit my leg wow okay. we're gonna move her over here <laughs> uh... i mean the train bag was over there but still <laughs> she bit my leg she just like rolled over okay all right wow <laughs> anyway there's a real life monster that cat's right? dealing with um all mine are outside of my room because yeah. they're not allowed in here uh, because yeah. of allergies or else they'd probably be allowed in here but mm. um <laughs> yeah okay all right so what? i oh, yeah. got some pictures of kaijus that we first saw and stuff like that so i figured we could just kind of talk about them and kind of go through yeah, with them yeah there, there's definitely cool. a little more than what we got like yeah I'd say overall, what you see in the trailer is essentially kind of like what you get in the movie. If you've watched like the main two or three trailers they did. But I think there's definitely a couple uh, monsters that I was like surprised that popped up. 
I wasn't expecting. Right. So. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, get into it. Oh, okay. All right. For a second, it wasn't going to let me share it. Okay. So the first one right off the bat is this sucker. Oh, this is awesome. So. So this is Skyla. Yes. Uh, um. I so I. Same. If, uh, well, I've always pronounced it different ways, so I actually looked it up because I was like, it's going to bug me if I'm going to say it wrong. But <laughs> uh, we actually see this in King of Monsters. Um, so, you know, when Ghidorah kind of sounds the alarm and starts waking up all these kaijus and stuff like that. And then we see in, um, where was it? Ma was it Montana? No, Georgia. Um, Georgia, I think it was Outpost 53. Don't quote me on that one. Um, but it basically like breaks open um, on the ground and stuff like that. And then she kind of goes crazy. That's actually her. Um, but she's not in at the end because, you know, most of them make their way kind of towards Godzilla at the end and stuff like that. And kind of like, oh, OK, you're the king because you're the man. She never makes it to that point because she does it. She's, um, so I'm glad we get to see her now and kind of being like, you're, you're nothing. Like, I'm going to challenge you now type thing. So. Mm -hmm. um, but it was great seeing her her um that, that was a what, what do you think about surprise. it yeah right? that was a very yeah. pleasant surprise uh i don't remember that i haven't watched king because i i wanted to rewatch. i didn't have a uh a chance to rewatch any Fine. movies before going into this <laughs> yeah uh yeah. this week was super busy for me um and so a uh, great way to like into the to the weekend for me but um yeah. for this though specifically i i forgot it was in uh, this creature was on King of the Monsters, but mm -hmm. what this creature has been in recently, and it was a pleasant surprise uh, seeing it back on screen because I wasn't expecting at all for this creature to be in the movie. Um, yeah. Was it actually recently appeared in the Justice League vs. Godzilla vs. Kong miniseries that they're doing? Yes. Comic miniseries yes. that they're doing that's um, mm -hmm. they have six of the seven issues out. Last one comes out I think it's the very beginning of May. And so, but anyway, yes. this kaiju is actually in, in that uh, spoiler alert! Does but it, like I, since I've been reading that, I was like, "Oh, that's so cool to see that back here again right? on the." Doesn't screen. she attack Atlantis in that series? <gasps> no, this one attacks. Um... Stop it! Sorry. <laughs> oh, I can't remember. The I thought she thought she attacked Steady. Atlantis in this one. Maybe that's a different the, one then. It's it's. I think I think the one that attacks Atlantis is the other one that we're about to show show later. Um, but oh, this okay. one attacks um, Flash's town. I can't think of why I don't remember why I can't, can't remember his uh, his town name that he Central City Prison. That's it. Um, there's this big like prison break that happens because this mm -hmm. kaiju goes in and like destroys like parts of it and it's like a huge prison yeah. outbreak while there's a kaiju up. So, like, there's this whole part where like Flash and Green Lantern's there trying to hold off. Uh, this big prison break will also have to deal with this kaiju, uh, which is just crazy. And so, that's awesome. uh, uh, yeah, that's that's where I remember it from recently. And uh, that's awesome. very cool. I I have to say though, I absolutely love. So one of my favorite parts in 2014 is when Godzilla is literally just like, I've had enough of you, and he does the kiss of death on the female mm -hmm. Muto. And I uh, absolutely love that they brought this back. <laughs> we got to see it again. <laughs> like, I loved every second. I was like, ooh, mm, sushi. <laughs> Who's up for oh, yeah. some fresh, fresh stuff? Yeah. But no, I, I absolutely loved it. It was a quick little battle. But he's just mm -hmm. like, I don't got time for you. I'm busy. Like, let's go. Yeah. Like, come on. Does this um, battle. And then there's just this cat nap. So <laughs> oh, I, I, I love that for a second. Cause I was like, yeah. that's totally like, cause I, I know I did read, um, and like an interview from the director, um, how he said he was really inspired by his cat with this Zilla. And yeah. he had talked to the, um, the creator from, um, minus one who was also inspired, mm -hmm. you know, uh, minus one Godzilla with his cat and stuff like that. And I'm like, that is such a cat Hilarious. thing. Oh, it's a big thing. If I fit, I sit. Type, <laughs> type logic. Yes. Um, with Godzilla. So yeah, I absolutely, I absolutely love that. So that's Can awesome. you name the kaiju as you bald out? I don't know. Is it Scylla? Is that what with you said? With this one? Yeah. 
Scylla? This is called Skyla. Skyla. So it doesn't okay. it yeah. doesn't look like it because it's S um, C Y L L A, but yeah, you pronounce it. It's Skyla. So okay, huh? Good to know. Yeah, I never knew it had a name. Well, I mean, obviously it have a name, but I just right, right, <laughs> right. But it's it's hard to stop with that. Okay, let me pull up. Do you, do you have the things we saw at the very beginning next? Before this, technically? Probably not. It was really right. hard to find, right. like... That's, that's fair. That's fair. Certain um, things with well, it. Like, I, it's I just just, one, uh, yeah. Before, well, the, the only reason I ask that is because uh, I love the way this movie opened up. It was such a great mm -hmm. way of how it got... Um, I love the song that I was playing at the beginning and just the whole mm -hmm. camera work for um because you know you had this battle with Godzilla, but right before it, it's this awesome battle uh with you see Kong running away from like all these little essentially kaiju guard dogs, but like proportional to his size. Still oh, gigantic yeah. for I us. I couldn't I couldn't get those at all. But it um, reminded me of hyenas. <laughs> yeah, 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 very much so. And is is yeah. uh, I enjoyed Kong being uh using like um the traps and using all that, but uh, mm -hmm. I was just want to comment though. It was such a great way to be reintroduced to Middle Earth. Uh, I yes. love like the camera work there of how it starts one way and then it like turns over and then goes back. Like it is is wonderful. It's Hollow Earth too. I said I think I said Middle Earth. By the way, Middle Earth. <laughs> I think I did. I think I said Middle Earth. All right, let me know. Does that did that change? I don't see. No. Let's see. Here, let's stop sharing that one. Let me pull it up again. Yeah, no, I couldn't find those because I was like, that's a, that's a pretty one. Also, how long has he been like having to booby trap his home? Yeah, I, I wonder how long like, this, this took place after Godzilla vs. Kong. Because like he would just start doing it right away, right? Because right? in Godzilla vs. Kong, he literally he, he just got there, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I mean, obviously uh, it's been some time, but that he, it was just like booby trap after booby trap. So okay, all right, well, yeah. But which I, I mean, it obviously helped him in the end with it, um, which is great. And then I, and I didn't get a shot of this, and I forgot to grab, try to from the last Congress's um, Godzilla movie. But mm -hmm. did you? See, I, I liked the little part where he finally, you know, kind of beats the hyena looking things, and he's just kind of rested, and then he has to fight. The little baby looking Godzilla off. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, it's that guy again. I like him. Because <laughs> you see him in the first one when he's running over the rock. So I like I like that little part. He's like, seriously, I can't just stop and have my dinner. I like I like that little part. But <laughs> so I'm not sure what part this was. Um because it there was Could just have been so the much I was to kind of go over, but um but it's just it's just beautiful with it, and then well, cool. something I just really enjoyed with this movie is yeah. well, I I should say that like I think the most interesting part, I mean, aside from just seeing Godzilla and Kong fight, uh, the most interesting part of Godzilla vs Kong I felt like was uh, that that Hollow Earth like whole thing because that was our first time learning about this Hollow Earth and going into it was mm -hmm. just interesting, right? And you get like yeah. just all these great shots of Hollow Earth as you're seeing here, um, and what I love about this movie is that you get so much hollow earth in this and being able yeah. to explore it deeply. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. It's so rich and vibrant with creatures. I mean, we saw when uh, the humans went down for the first time in the movie and stuff like that, we see a new type of bird prey, you know, prey that they have. Like, so you do see some extra new things. It's not just the same old, which I really, really appreciated. Cause what, what did they say? It was like, they've only explored like 5% of it. So half of the stuff is just brand new. So I, I do like that. It's not exactly right near the station. He's like, nope, I'm trying to search. And I have to say, when you can feel an emotion from a kaiju, <laughs> I think it says a lot. And when I was staring at Kong, like, I'm like, he looked so sad and like lonely. Mm -hmm. I felt really bad. For him. I was like, aw. I was like, don't worry. <laughs> The they, previous day that yeah. you're gonna find them. <laughs> yeah, they may regret Kong, that, but yeah, they made Kong such a great character to connect with, and mm -hmm. and honestly, this whole series, I think uh, 
you had a lot a lot of it done really well in Godzilla vs Kong, but in yeah. this it just carries on his emotion and they they treat Kong so much of as his own just being his own camera or not mm-hmm. camera a uh, character. He literally yep. goes off doing these things without like he doesn't even interact with like the humans until like what two thirds through the movie. Yeah. Uh, and so like yeah, not until he needs help. He needs yeah he needs some some help and not until he needs yeah. help. Which I'm I'm really shocked. I did not notice in the trailer that mm-hmm. he has a different tooth. Did you notice that? Because they do a shot where he's roaring, and I was like, oh, that's been in the previews, oh, yeah. unless they changed it out. But I was like, every yeah. time I see it now, I was like, oh, it's clear day. He's got a, a different tooth. That's interesting. Yeah, no, I does... haven't gone back to look at it, either, but that's interesting. Yeah, because yeah. I was trying to that find like screenshots cool. and get stuff, and I was like, oh. He had a different tooth the whole time. I forgot. I just forgot. There is that one part near the beginning, though, where he does get that new tooth. Yeah. 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 Spoiler. He's got a toothache, and he's got to go to the humans for help. He has a tooth. So. Oh, yeah. my gosh. That was, Poor baby. Yeah. He's got a toothache. So he, he's got to go with that, with it. But, yeah. Even even right. kaijus need dental care. They do. They do. Just watch he's out probably... when Godzilla needs it. You may get burned mm-hmm. to death. Listen, he he's got a temp he's got a temper. He don't play. He don't play. That's for sure. All right. Let me find oh, here was I forgot to show this one, so it's a little backtrack just a bit. Um Kitty Stop Boss, stop crying. You're fine, sweetheart. I wanna be like so if I let her out, then she'll cry at the door. But she kicked me out. Why am I kicked out? I don't understand the problem. God, I just love animals sometimes, you know? Yeah. Little she's, critters. She's needy. <laughs> okay. There you go. Oh, yes. There we go. We're so. just talking about the filler. <laughs> yeah, uh, I forgot to pull it up when we were talking. I forgot I got that one. Because I'm like, that's just, it's funny. And there's a different aerial shot, shot that I like. But again, I couldn't find it since, Yeah. you know, everything just... Just kind of came out. They're still having a tight yeah. lip on the on the pictures and stuff yeah, like that. Absolutely. But I was gonna say absolutely, uh, it's definitely worth going to watch this and seeing it in its full glory. Right, exactly, exactly. But I have to say, if I go to Italy now and I don't see that there, I'm gonna be really upset if he's not sleeping <laughs> when I go when I visit. Like, that's a tourist attraction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to uh, see someone uh, sleeping. I, I, so. Funny, funny little conversation that my family had on the way back home. Uh, apparently, I don't, I don't know, like what this is true, but like my my family was saying something about that a lot of cats in real life sleep in that arena, uh, in that coliseum, mm-hmm. yep. and I, I was, and so like when they said that, I was like, so you're saying Godzilla crushed a bunch of innocent cats, kittens, and they were like, and my brother was like, no, Spencer, I was like, how dare you think that? I was talking about a real life. I was like, oh, I thought we were talking about two. Yeah. <laughs> First off, do you not notice when animal when something happens, animals go away. Like the birds, they went away. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. they sense danger, so they would be like, okay, we're leaving. But I mean, he's not gonna hurt a kitty cat. Come on. Yeah. He uh, won't hurt a kitty cat. I mean, he's just one big cat right there. It's. He is. Adorable. He is. He's just adorable. <laughs> How can you not love him? Why is Godzilla like napping in the Coliseum instead of the ocean as Orlando? Well, exactly. listen, it's it's like a cat. You need your nice little enclosed space. Uh, Godzilla apparently takes a lot of inspiration from cats. Which, I mean, I guess it makes sense. So <laughs> he does, he does. But you know what? It's okay. It's all right. Like he's got his. You know what? He's been fighting. Like because they showed a map at one point. Um, a little later when he's going to fight a bigger kaiju, um, that we'll get into, but. It showed, they said, well, what's near him? And it showed, like, all these, like, pings. Oh, yeah. Like, where, so he's just going to be like, look, I'm right here. It's here. I'm here. Let's just play. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. It's just, it's the closest place for him. So. But, all right. When you saw uh... Suko, I've been calling him Sumo because I forgot his name is Suko. So I'm like in the movie theater. I was like, it's sumo, right? I don't. And I was trying to remember. And I was like, whatever. Sumo. But Suko, um, what did you think about him? I thought he was a little different from what I got a vibe in the trailers. But well, yeah, like thought. when you first see him, he was he is a vicious little thing. And also that first interaction with 
him and Kong was hilarious. Well, I mean, he tried to like fight Kong, but then right after that, right, it was funny yeah. because Kong literally used him as a freaking baseball bat, and it was hilarious. <laughs> I was there just <laughs> laughing. I was like, oh my gosh, he's here whacking <laughs> <a lot of laughs> other, other like Kong like creatures. He didn't hesitate. He just said, when they were ambushing Kong, he's just like, okay, come here. Uh, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> like, I was not expecting that at all, but I'm like, well, you did try to bite Kong first, so I mean, <laughs> it makes sense. It's like, hilarious. Yeah. I was just laughing when that happened. I was like, "Oh my god, yeah. god, this is hilarious yeah. and savage." Yeah, and that, then was, that was great, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, after he tried to kill him several more times, you know. But I, I think you know from the trailers that he just looks like okay. I'm really scared, which you know I get with Scar King. He's probably not a great king. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, it's another big, you know, his kind. So he's really afraid of him. Yeah. But no, he was like, I'm going to rip your face off, Kong. Like, you came into my territory. I got, because he had to, you know, basically get thick skin to survive with mm-hmm. everybody with it. But I feel, I think it's funny that he even led him to that um, Hell Earth shot I sent. I did you guys with the lake. He literally led him there and acted like, oh, let's go play in the water. We're, <laughs> don't look behind you. <laughs> You know, yeah. um, and then with him running away and then Kong throwing the axe and freaking him out. <laughs> yeah. But um, I, I it totally set up, though, and I know we've had this conversation before of, um, you know, like after all of that, and it's kind of like getting close to nighttime and he's eating, he even feeds, ends up feeding Suko, you know, some food and kind of like taking care of him. Like, here you go, little punk and all that. I I feel like they're starting to set up for a new Kong movie for the son of Kong. Like I could yeah, see that, yeah, I definitely get that from vibe. watching this. Um, just because it, it definitely felt like he's like, okay, it's not, this kid's going through something, but it totally felt like kind of like a dad <laughs> taking care of like a <laughs> rambunctious child. <laughs> to me yeah. anyways, I'm like, that's a dad. <laughs> like I'm going to, I'm going to kick your butt cause you're being mean. <laughs> But then I'm gonna feed you. So that was just <laughs> that was my little take on the, on that guy. But. He is uh, what really stood out to me with uh, this character in particular, Suko, is that we got great character development with just this character alone throughout the movie. Um, yes, absolutely. Especially with how he, especially his relationship with Kong, and yeah. so. Um, it is it was just great, honestly. It was a really nice, sweet story. Uh, his story arc in particular, right? Especially when you see where it is from the beginning and then by the end, being best buds with Kong. And it's it's great. Yeah, and even actually helping and saving him. Yeah, yeah. Um, we see when he's on the on the run, which we'll kind of go into with that. But yeah, he I, I do love their little relationship. That's why I think. I won't be surprised if we get a Kong movie next of like King Kong, the son of Kong or whatever. Like I, I can see that for sure. Yeah. Uh, for sure. All right. Let me go to now. Is there another Kaiju that you want to talk about next or you just want me to pull up one? Um, there was the, uh, well, there's two that's kind of similar, right? There's one that Kong fought, and then one that Godzilla fought. Uh, I don't know what the name was of, honestly, either of them. Uh, but uh, so the which smaller, one for Kong? The well, wait. There's the 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 one in the water. You fought this one in yeah, the water. Yeah, I don't. There, I don't have a picture of that okay. one. So we fought one that this big one in the water. Well, not big, mm-hmm. but like it was kind of like a snake. It, it was it was a quick one. Um, it was just okay. cool seeing more monsters in. If you've ever more. seen Avatar The Last Airbender, not live action, but the animation, <laughs> when they go to um, Kiyoshi Island to ride the elephant koi, there's the Unagi. It looks just like the Unagi. So if you've ever seen that, let me see, because I didn't think about that until like a few minutes ago. Um Mm. Last Airbender Unagi. However, there you go. Um, wait, that's not how you spell Unagi. Okay. 
Um, okay, you can't really, okay, maybe it'll come up. It's still a small picture, but it kind of reminds me of this. Maybe it's just me. Um, you'll have to let me know, but. Something else about uh -huh. Suko that Rolando said. Kitty, stop, little... pause. Get off my Vader bank. I'm sorry. <laughs> she literally turned him on. Do you hear him? I, I do. I do hear that. That's hilarious. Uh... <laughs> so, Hold on. Uh, he talks and I don't want to shout over. I, I so, have to look um, around in a moment. Yeah, you're all good. So, this, um, does that kind of remind you of it? Uh, Yeah, actually. that that See? Good enough imagery. Oh. That, that, that's okay. pretty close. Uh, I... You you talk about that for a second. I, I gotta yeah, yeah. put her put her out. She's driving me crazy. Um, she right. turned on theater. Yeah, Vader. absolutely. You're all good. So Thank um, you. I was just gonna comment though. Uh, Rolando made a comment earlier about Suko. Uh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. I literally just had it. Okay. Uh, I just had. It. Oh, here you go. Uh, Rolando a little bit ago said Suko reminded me of Gollum. When he sets up Kong, that's, <laughs> what's funny is my mom said the same exact thing. Of like, she was like, "I don't know why, but I just felt like he was Gollum or something like that." And so, yeah, uh, totally. That was funny. No, you're in the cubby. Uh, Good night. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah. As far as the sea creature goes, though, I, I have no idea what its name is. Or is this? I don't know what names Orlando is dropping in the chat. I don't know if that's what this is, but we essentially did get a creature like this. Um, it was a quick Just little thing. Just call Unagi for now. It's fine. <laughs> Unagi. <laughs> it's an uh, Unagi uh, kaiju. That's all. Uh, close enough. And so, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was. It, it was just one of those things where it's just like, kind of like a, I guess a generic creature I have there, but like it's really it, it's cool to just populate hollow earth more like yes. i just anything yeah. more that you add to hollow earth i just love absolutely absolutely yep but that's the closest thing i could i could honestly that, think of it and works. find works. <laughs> <laughs> it works so yeah yep Unagi. all right all right what was the other one the other kaju uh the we got the one that um Godzilla fought that reminds me of Yunagi. Mm-hmm. Tiamat. That's it. I know I heard his name somewhere before. I was like, oh, Yeah, I this one is uh okay. Also, I I <laughs> mixed stuff up. Um this is this is a small picture. I it's the best one I could find. But um okay. this one is um was the one in King of Monsters that we saw. So she was the reason why she was in Georgia and not near water is because that's her weakness. She has to be in water to be more powerful. So they literally transported her to a different outpost. Hmm. So that's my bad. It wasn't um Skyla. Yeah, so this one was really cool too because, yeah. like Skyla, uh, this one also recently appeared uh, in the Justice League vs. Godzilla vs. Kong series. What's great about this one, though, is in that comic series, they're, they're, it's literally part of a three way standoff. You have, uh, was this Ti Tiamat? Um, mm -hmm. You have this one versus Godzilla versus Aquaman's Kraken. In the comic, which is awesome. So, yeah. also relating that back again to this, I was like, "Oh, it's cool to see this here for a little bit, just like Skyla." But this one also gets beaten yeah. up very quick too by Godzilla, um, which is, I guess, fitting. But just, yeah. I like the way that was done too. It was just, yes, honestly, pretty savage of Godzilla the way he takes out this one of just. Uh, he's not playing in this movie. He slices and just dices this one with his. He does. Breath. And he does. Just, it Go ahead, I didn't He's mean it. Come, I was just gonna say, like, just the pieces come up, and it was it was great. Yeah, you know, and I I feel like this one was a lot more purpose for Godzilla. So, like, there was a comment made. Listen, I'm a Godzilla fan. This is just basically a a Kong movie. I could see what they meant by it, but yeah, I never got that feeling just because there was so much of Kong still and his kind of backstory a little bit still in. 
their first, you know, movie together. Mm -hmm. Um, but when there's a certain point where, you know, certain things are happening in, in, I keep wanting to say middle earth, (laughs) hollow earth, hollow earth, hollow earth. Okay. Um, where, you know, there's a signal and um, interruption and stuff like that. And that's basically somebody asking for help and they're literally signaling Godzilla for help. Yeah. Um, that explains so much as to why he's Gary. He's taken out Kaiju's left and right, and why he's trying to regenerate and all this stuff because yeah. he's driven. He's like, I have to help. So I I loved seeing, and I don't remember um, the place he went, but he went to a reactor first, mm-hmm. um, and then of course, what did the dumb humans do? And I'm I'm sorry, but if you purposely attack Godzilla when he's literally sucking up the radiation. He's going to smack you and you're going to die. And that's your own fault. You're dumb. You're dumb. <laughs> Let's just fly towards the giant monster. That's literally, even though he destroyed it, he's eating, he's sucking up the radiation. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about it. But no, let's just, you're dumb. But um, his kind of like AOE attack that he had reminded me of when um, in King of Monsters, when he did that with um, uh, Mothra, when she gave up her, her life for him. When he was uh, dying when... anyway. Are you talking about when, when you he went Super see- Saiyan? Yeah, right. And you, but Literally. you see Mothra's kind of like outer outer self in that. That's what it kind of reminded me of. I'm like, oh, he's he's not playing. So I mean, he had a purpose, and the fact that she did not step down, and he's all he's like, okay, get out the way. You're hiding a resource that I need. So move it or lose it, Tut. And she lost it. <laughs> Yeah, Which I I had no problem with. I thought that was awesome, but I it's just he was driven. So I I didn't feel like like again I could see where she says that, but I never once thought, oh my gosh, it's Kong. Like I was just so enthralled with what he was going through and seeing everything and like really pulling for him. So I didn't mind mm-hmm. seeing all that. I enjoyed that. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's see here. Rolando said, uh, let's see here. That fight was too short for uh, the Godzilla one. I, I can see that, right? Like, I definitely felt like the Godzilla fights, like, they were a lot quicker than whatever Kong did. And there, there, there definitely wasn't as much of a focus of Godzilla as there was Kong. Um, and I could definitely see. I don't know. I it's it's got one of those things to where it's like I don't know if you needed uh <laughs> like I don't I don't know if it's one of those things where it's like oh well, here's the thing is like I think the movie was done really well and I don't see how you could have I guess done it better with the kind of story because it's like Godzilla mm-hmm. served a big purpose of the story. You just didn't need to show a whole ton of it, but like every time he was no. there, it was a like a scene stealer, right? And so Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it honestly though, if it was just every single fight that he was involved in, and it went on and on, it would. I mean, that's half the movie. Then, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there was no yeah. point. We are, listen. We already know he's the best. He's the king. He's already like he's just he's uh, on a time restraint. Let's go. Come on, I have an agenda. Yeah, Let's go. We... I. <laughs> yeah. No, I I really like that too because their little duel in Egypt was fantastic. Because yes. um, I think it very much showed that uh, Godzilla, the whole thing of Godzilla vs. Kong is established. Godzilla is still king, even with Kong around. Um, and But now they're like, well, Godzilla's ruler of the, the, uh, the top part of the Earth where we live, and then Hollow Earth, you know, we have uh, mm-hmm. Kong there. I mean, essentially, the ruler there is the movie set up. And... Yep. Um, but anyway, like their whole fight there was just fantastic because it's like, well, it still shows, hey, Godzilla still got it, and then and then uh, Will K came in and saved the day. Right, right. Uh, they attacked him because he was destroying their facility, and it was radioactive. But if they would have just, you know, stopped for a second yeah. and watched him literally suck up the radiation, they would have been fine. They're also, but you know, part of the movie too is they're so afraid of Godzilla and they talk about, you know, we need to destroy them still. Like, okay, good luck with that. 
that's going to mm. happen. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Terry. Thanks for joining. It is spoilers. So <laughs> unlike G-Force, he wasn't prepared, apparently. <laughs> Good night, G-Force. Thanks for hanging out. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it was just, like you said, straight to the point. We don't need to see, I mean, because there's so many to choose from. So we don't mm -hmm. need a huge long. It's just he's the king. He don't he don't waste time. He don't need to waste time. Well, yeah. So I mean, as even though we got more Kong action, it's still I think shown that Godzilla is way more brutal of the two. Uh, he Godzilla don't screw around. Like he he gets the job done quick, and he's he's fierce at it. Like he 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 got yeah. that one. He cut that one kaiju up into pieces. Yeah, Tiamat. Yeah, he was yeah, not playing. Yeah. Like literally, like because you they do the ocean shot, and you're waiting because he, you know, he did his atomic mm -hmm. breath, and you just see like pieces floating up. No, 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 <laughs> and did he yeah. come up? No, nah, he's just like, no, nope, okay, I'm busy. I I gotta go regenerate <laughs> anytime. <laughs> gotta, go. gotta gotta go take another nap. I mean, he th he found a sweet <laughs> spot. So I mean, yeah. but you know, I really I did like. Um, on the thought of that, you know, is the because we do we do see which we've seen in the in the trailers the Iwi Iwi is that her people? Do you have people? Uh, something Iwi? like that, yeah. Something like that. I apologize for getting that wrong, but um, you know, they there's like that little part of the storytelling about like what happened, and literally it was who was the savior? Godzilla. Who were they calling for help? They weren't asking Kong for help. Who were they asking for? The king. So. Just, <laughs> Yeah. Neither way, my, my boy's on top. <laughs> but, all right. So I I have to say, with this next guy, they do not play with how horrible he is. Like, there's oh, no, no... Like, I the, the one thing I am afraid is, I, I'm, I think he's going to really scare Rafi. Like, we see him mm. in the cruise, and he looks terrifying as it is, right? But seeing it, he is, like, absolutely ruthless. And it was, like, I was getting angry, like Kong was. I was, like, stop doing that because, you know, I don't want to see animals hurt and stuff like that. But, like, you know, unless it's Godzilla. <laughs> but, yeah. like, with this, he was just, like, you felt for the poor other guys that, like, that old ape that got pushed down and stuff like that or... That kind of stuff, like you felt for him, but he is just—he is a great villain where you just want him gone. Like I, I thought they did really well on him. For uh, yeah, for sure. And, and the overall history that they give too is—I had no idea that they were building towards this whole history as well yes. with Godzilla. And I was like, yep. wow, okay. That and I think that kind of makes sense too because uh, explaining a little bit of Godzilla versus Kong in a way too because yeah, absolutely when uh. I remember some people made this point of uh, at the time when Godzilla vs. Kong was coming out, they were like, well, why is Godzilla so pissed that there's an ape off the island now, uh, off Skull Island, right? Like, why why is he just so mad at Kong? <laughs> and I feel like this uh, I, uh, history that they explained, at least mm -hmm. between um, Scar and Godzilla here, really explains Absolutely. it, I think. And I'm like, okay, yep. now I think this makes a lot more sense in the long run, and um, that's something I also really appreciate uh, about this uh, monster verse that they're doing is they have this really they're making it more into a universe that I think works. Um, yeah. They have things that connects together I think relatively well. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. And especially like after what they did with like Monarch and now what they're doing with this to connect back to not only just Godzilla vs Kong but. Another creature we'll be getting into that got hinted in the very first Godzilla movie that we got like a decade ago, which is crazy, I think, too. Um, what a cool way, I guess, to kind of celebrate that in this movie. Um, so, uh, yeah, he was absolutely a fantastic villain. I loved the way he acted, um, especially in like that first little part where you get him was just great. Um, you could definitely completely see how he's completely different than Kong being such yeah. a terrible being and his and yeah he, he just he was just really well i mean he's basically using other the other uh kongs or what are apes whatever you want to call them like mm -hmm. as slaves 
you know, he's horrible yeah. to him. He's up in his little throne area, just chilling, eating, you know, whatever. But um, yeah, I think I, I think they also do a good job because of them doing that backstory is you understand why Scar is so ruthless. It's because he's literally trying, he, he's bitter because he lost. And then mm -hmm. with him trying to get to the surface, like that adds like a whole new leather, love, leather. Yeah. Level <laughs> of <laughs> like, I'm going to do, I'm going to get there. I'm, I'm going to do anything I can to get there. Um, and you also see why the other apes that are following him. And I, I would say younger are just, ruthless mm -hmm. as well because that's what they yeah. have to deal with um and then another part with this is oh uh, why i also think they're gonna do son of kong is because i don't know if it was his dad or his grandfather or what but you know taking a relative of suko <laughs> um that 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 just kind of reiterates to me is you know he's now attached attached himself to Kong and you know we see at the end kind of like their little duo thing so I I think they kind of set that up too I think we're gonna see that in the future so another little mm -hmm. yeah thing to do. yeah yeah I welcome in um but yeah yeah I 100% I agree I, I uh it was just it was a really good villain to represent what Kong yeah. wasn't um yeah. and it, it was really nice and also like yeah. his whip weapon was gnarly like yes. oh it was it is is cool seeing that in action um yeah well i definitely was not rooting for him at all it, no. anytime he no. used that whip and it's like oh this is cool though he has a cool weapon here that he's mm -hmm. using yeah because that's that's different we don't see that we don't normally you know kind of see it and i love how he actually kind of wears it like a bandler uh bandolier or whatever yeah yeah like little stash thing so i think i think that's really cool like he literally i mean he's just he's a terrifying enemy like okay <laughs> he yeah he's he's a great villain he's a great villain great villain that is not afraid to use others i think it's the best no, way to put it not at all not at all which then brings us to this this pretty girl pull her up Which I have to say, I was really surprised because, you know, you see in the trailers, um, mm. obviously she's working for Skarking, but how? You know, yeah. you don't, like, how is she, like, how did he really, like, have her under his control and stuff like that? And then I didn't, it didn't dawn on me seeing that the end of the whip is how he does it. Um, yeah. I, 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 I was. The trailers did really well was just completely concealing. Yes. Yes just this creature's role in general other than hey mm -hmm. it's well you have scar to be the opposite of kong now we have mm -hmm. uh shimo here to be the opposite of uh godzilla but we just yep. you're right though we had no story indicator mm -mm. no and it literally looked like it was and I, we do get confirmation with this but that when he was kind of pointing at it to her, you know, and stuff like that like using like directing her it looked so painful like she was wincing mm -hmm in pain which i thought was a pretty i mean when you look back at other whether it's history or other movies is generally that's how you can control people or control things is through pain <laughs> or through yeah. fear you know and stuff like that so yeah. i thought that was a really good move on how they handled that because i was a little unsure going in because i was like oh i hope it's not cheesy i hope it's you know uh, <laughs> like i don't want to say realistic <laughs> But, you know, like, you can buy that, like, oh, okay, that makes sense of how he could control this thing that is, you know, ten times this size and everything like that. So I I really enjoyed that. I absolutely love this yeah, creature. Sure. I think it's I think it's awesome. Yeah, I, I enjoyed this one, too, as, uh, it, uh, yeah, like, just, I think in this story, it was, it was nice to have something for, for Kong to, or not Kong, to, for mm -hmm. Godzilla to specifically sort of fight against. Mm -hmm. um, and just what this creature does at the end, too, is really cool. I really enjoy um, just Shibu having the... Uh, well, Kong does the final blows, but like just before those final blows the, that Shimu does, um, it, it's great. 
like the the, the action in this movie as you said early, uh, earlier on like at the beginning like it is top-notch action yes and delivering on all the different creatures there it's it's great yeah most people complain oh it's just you don't ever see them long enough or they don't have enough screen time you know all that that's a major point you cannot complain about that in this movie you cannot complain about there's not enough kaijus in this like you you can't say that which i absolutely love every minute of it yeah love every minute of it so um which i have to say so this next part like i got really surprised like i know we saw a glimpse of it in the trailer and stuff like that but i i kind of figured oh okay will they discover which i again i don't have an actual shot of this because all the other ones were kind of like blurry out from the reflection and everything like that. So I don't have a good one ever. Um, but I was, I was really surprised. And I have to say, I was really excited to have this back because I'm a huge fan hmm. over yes. Mothra. So yeah. again, it's not, it's not the great, but we do see the shot in the, in the, um, in the trailers now do you know much with mothra and stuff like that have you seen any of the old school no i know we didn't no, get very no. far in our rewatches no i need stuff to like I, that. I think that was like next so yeah I, I need to get to it it's on my so, list <laughs> so i kept doing this and i know people were probably really annoyed with me but i didn't really care i was enjoying it there's these like two twins that kind of look after mothra and stuff like that and they're like super small right but they sing this this line, Mothra, like they just sing it over and over <laughs> and stuff like that. Because, you know, they kind of worship her and that kind of stuff. So I just kept singing that. <laughs> and I know I was getting like looks at that. But I was so freaking excited that they brought her back. I mean, you got Godzilla's wife, Queen of the Monsters back. I thought this was absolutely amazing. And they didn't just kill her off right away. <laughs> Which I was also really happy about. She, she had a lot of screen time. Um, how did you feel about seeing her? I would have had no idea Mothra was in this movie if it wasn't for this artwork that they came out with a day or two mm -hmm. ago with Mothra and like um, Scar and um, the white one. I, I, I know we were literally just uh, Shimu, Shimu on one side mm -hmm. and then Godzilla and Kong on the other one. Like I would have had no idea if that artwork didn't come out about mm -hmm. Mothra being in this. So in other words, it would have been a great surprise. Like, th like this is what I think they hid really well in the trailers. Um, mm -hmm. uh, yes, Ricardo, uh, Mothra is in the movie, and if yeah. it actually there's a shot, there's one huge shot that they do in the trailers. Um, like one of the main yes. shots from the trailers, she's completely edited out of. Yes, it, I was gonna it, try it to get that excellent and I trifecta. Um, mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I no, like Mothra played a huge role, and it was. It, it yes. was really cool. Like they did Mothra well. Like I could, I could see like how you could feel Mothra being done dirty in uh, King of the Monsters, and Mothra was just brought back in a great way, being a great supporting kaiju here. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, like I said, you know, you see it kind of. Oh, I found the picture. Okay, um, I can pull that up. Uh, but you, you know, I figured since they found the people, the Iwu, Iwu. Yeah. Iwi, I, I don't know how to say it. I, I've lost all meaning now. Sure. But um, <laughs> when you found the people, you're going to find kind of like a little section for her. Obviously, I didn't think that they were actually going to bring her back. So I like, and I didn't see that artwork beforehand. So I flipped out and I got like really emotional. And then, so here you go. So it's this one. So yes. I know it's not very big. So Mothra yeah. is actually right in between them right here. Well, I so. <laughs> I believe in the actual shot, though, they actually have Kong moved over more to the right. And it's probably like Mothra is literally yeah. in the middle, like on top but, yeah. of the pyramid or something. Um, yeah. Like that shot right there, though, it's it's yeah. meant to be the three of them. I think that's one of those great yep. cases, though, because like when I initially viewed that shot uh, and I, I don't know if I've ever seen I haven't really seen anyone else comment on it specifically, but. Like when I saw that shot, I would have never thought that there was meant to be something else. And I think that's a great Absolutely case not. of trailer editing here. And like I said, if it wasn't for that artwork yeah. being released a day or two ago, I would have had no idea about Mothra being in this movie. Yeah. 
hundred um, percent. I mean, that kind well, of annoys me about Warner Bros. About how much they show. Because I will say this too about Warner Bros. While uh, I talk about, it, is they mm-hmm. are one of the ones that I feel like they show their movies in the trailers. Yeah, which is annoying. And when you do watch your trailers for this movie, you know the story you're getting. Um, yeah, it's the more of the things that you don't know is more of the how do you get there. Um, right. You know, like certain parts of Hollow Earth, yeah, Aaron like those couple of kaijus that we showed, like those are all hidden and those were all nice surprises, yep. but the overall story, yep. you know, it going into it. Um, like, and, cause and, again, I, I mean, I had no idea from the trailers. How does he, yeah. why does he turn pink or purple or whatever again? Yeah. Right. I'm like, so is that just like from him getting enough radiation? That's his evolution change. Like what's going on? Like, you don't, but so I love that they didn't give that away. You know, and you don't even yeah. see Tia Matt in it. Like I, I love all that. So yeah, they did. They did a great, great job, and she played such a pivotal role. <laughs> oh yeah. Because you know, it. like you know, Kong gets his glove, which is freaking amazing and awesome to, to watch and everything <laughs> yeah, like that. Really but cool. when he's like, okay, I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go get Zilla. Zilla is so. <laughs> He's so like he's look kind of like on roids. Like he's so like I gotta get everybody right. He's just <laughs> in so much rage. He's just yeah. funny, and you just see Kong. He's like, no, bro. Like let's talk. Like no, see that. Come on. Like let's let's calm down. No, and he nope. Not until he sees Mothra, and then she's like, okay, listen, listen. We have. To, oh, okay. All right. I'll calm down. I'll listen to. I'll listen to my woman, but I won't listen to Kong. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I I absolutely love that. I absolutely love that. It, it was an awesome trifecta. It was. It was. I'm so happy that she's back. Like I've been, I've missed her. I've missed her. Cause I I think she's a really really awesome character. All right, and I missed this picture, so I apologize. We're gonna go back a little bit, but it's all good. Um, this was on the way to Scarking. Um. And I think this was a really amazing shot, which I don't remember. I don't remember seeing this in the trailer at all. Okay. But it's, I love that shot. Oh yeah. That's a fantastic shot. I was, I was, so yes. I, I mean, that just sets up the vibe of like, oh, okay, crap. <laughs> we're in it. We're, we're in it. But I, I, it's yeah. very, I mean, it's very desolate. It's very depressing, isolating. Like, I I think the buildup to it, because, you know, the previous ones that we looked at, it's beautiful, right? It's mm-hmm. absolutely gorgeous where they're at. And then we get to rocks and hell. <laughs> Literally so. a great divide there. <laughs> right? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no. As I've said it's the earlier, elephant graveyard from everything Lion with King. Hollow Earth was cool. Everything exploring it was cool, yeah. and seeing just these two regions alone was really cool. I mean, part yeah. of it made me wish too, as uh, maybe you've heard, um, was known to be one of the worst games of last year was a Kong like Skull Island game. It would have been like, how I mean, cool I've would it have been that, if but... you could have actually done a good Kong game set in Hollow Earth? Yes, absolutely. Especially if, it, so I, I haven't actually looked at it. I've seen it. And then like mm-hmm. Rafi showed me, he's like, mom, there's a game. I was like, really cool. But I'm like, I'm not paying $60 for it, but I haven't actually looked into it. Um, until like recently and everybody's like, no, it's so disappointing. And I was like, oh, well that's disappointing. I was like, if you go from this movie to that game, it's yeah, a huge no. disconnect. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they have to do, a, it, they need to fix that for sure. The problem with that game, without delving too deep into it, it's just one of those things yeah. to where is one of those like IP games where the publisher is like, hey, you have a year to make a game or something. Mm-hmm. Or maybe not even a year. And they were like, make this game from scratch, which um, just know for your regular AAA game. I, obviously, that wouldn't have been a AAA game, but like we're looking at the a- average for years for game development is like five years and so having a year mm-hmm. or even less is just no that's right <laughs> yeah for sure was that a giant boa i don't i, I don't think it would have been a giant well 
No, because it sounds like more like a rib cage. Or something. I don't know what that was from, though. Yeah, that's it's. No, I closed it. Didn't Gigantic, it? though, because um, like it's crazy to think about, right? That's bones of something that Kong's standing on. Think about how gi giant sure. Kong is. Let me do it again here. Yeah, that's definitely not a boa. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a boa, but like it's. It's something huge. And I'd have to look crazy. at the head again. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you did but, briefly see it. I forgot about that. Yeah, because he, he has to step onto it because he's kind of like, because uh, right. it kind of wobbles a little bit right. when he steps onto it. But I'd have to see the head again. Right. But, yeah, it was a big boy, though, whatever it was. All right, I don't think I have, I'm just double checking, I don't think I have any more pictures. There's, so, you know, I know it came out on, you know, world premiere on Monday and stuff like that. There's, re it's really hard to get a lot of shots. I know they're going to come out later yeah, and that kind good. of stuff like that, but, um, because I wanted to get more of, like, the attack scenes and that kind of stuff, and I wasn't able to, um, <laughs> gee, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> big, big. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that that is massive for sure. The head and the super long body. Yes, that is. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. All Just right. The proportions doesn't really fit for like a boa, but yeah. No, no, because I've seen I've seen in some of like if you go to the kaiju website and you you know go through them, I don't. I've seen some of the serpent ones, and that doesn't really track with their rib cage. Yeah. Um. But I mean, there's so many different different things that it, it could be. Um, just giant, I'm just though. I'm just not. You need sure something that's that. like yeah. ten times the size of Kong at least. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we've kind of like mentioned them and stuff like that. What did you think of the Iwi people, like this version? So we had we've known them from Skull Island on top and stuff like that, but now we have a different kind of sect. Inside of Hollow Earth. So what did, how did you feel about them? I thought they were neat. Uh, what, what stood out to me most was the environment they lived in. Like, specifically, mm -hmm. they had these, like, crystal pyramid things. I was, like, pretty right. and really... And it, it was just really interesting as saying how involved they were with this whole story mm -hmm. of having a whole... They, they dropped a whole story dump there, and it's like, wow, this is fascinating. I had no idea about this whole, like, history dump we got. And, Absolutely. Uh, I, I, I enjoyed their role. Like, where this... So, the, the whole human storyline was essentially about them finding these people, which then allowed Mothra to be brought back. And I was like, okay, mm -hmm. that's a cool story thing. And after that happens, like, the humans don't come up again until, like... Well, I mean, they, there's one part where they help in like the first part of the final battle and then after that right. you get like one scene with them after the battle that's it like this i'd say you get more screen time with the godzilla and kong than you do the main human cast mm -hmm. probably yeah. at least that's what I it feels think... like no i i i agree with that but i think the parts that they did use the humans even it was quick it was impactful yeah, you know, it wasn't a lot of lollygagging stuff. It was like straight to the point. This is where mm -hmm. we're at. This is what's going on. So I, I mean, I, I to me it flowed. It worked with it doing it that way versus because I think if they would have spent any longer with it, it would have slowed it down. So you're going from really intense scenes to oh, okay, we're dragging now. And I never once thought that. I was just like, oh my gosh, what's going on? What's next? Like. I was just so excited with it. I didn't feel like it dragged on at all. And I, so I think I, they did it appropriately. I will say the pacing did feel like really good. Like when we got yes. to the start of the final battle where you knew things were like getting into it. Mm -hmm. Like when you knew this was the very beginning of, oh yeah, this is the final part. Um, yep. It's like, it did not feel like the, like however long it was going into it. Like it, it, wait, it says it's an hour 55 minute movie. Take out credits to what hour say 45 many maybe mm -hmm. um it, it felt like it was only an hour in and like i know that final yeah. battle wasn't 45 minutes and so it was like okay yeah it, it makes good use of its shorter runtime but yes. at the same time it, it doesn't even feel like a shorter runtime like it, like mm -hmm. it feels like it's a length of like one of these new like 
Disney Plus episodes almost just because mm-hmm. of how quick it goes through. Yeah. I I didn't feel like it was rushed. I didn't feel like it was too slow. I I thought yeah. they did great with everything with that. I was very impressed. Yeah, I, I think it was a good yeah. build up. Just like like and I think Godzilla vs. Kong had a good pacing too for its movie. Mm-hmm. And so um Absolutely. just the difference with this one is that I think you got more monsters. Yeah. Which I did like. For sure. Yeah. Okay. So Monster comes to talk to the to Godzilla. Okay, calm down, jump through the portal. They start having a battle. Now, I know a lot of people have commented because I was even surprised in the trailer that we got, um, which I get made fun of on Rumstrom because I got surprised. So, um, is Godzilla or uh, Kong jumping on Godzilla's back and riding him? I have to say, I was not expecting the other half of it. (laughs) Uh, How'd you feel about it? That was a wild battle right there, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, because I wasn't expecting what that battle does, which really, like, just neat. Mm-hmm. I wasn't expecting that at all. Nope. Um, so, so it was, it was just so fun. And then it, it was a great final battle. Um, possibly the best, probably, honestly, it is, it could be the best battle we've gotten out of all these MonsterVerse movies. And so it, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah absolutely. There was just, a, and, and again, fortunately, I wasn't able to get the shot, but because, you know, we see that Scar, Scar's riding Shimu. Um, but the scene where you get the outer kind of where Kong is riding Godzilla and Scar is riding Shimu and they're just coming at it. I thought that was a beautiful shot. And then they just kind of like yeah. leap off at each other. I was like, that's freaking awesome. Like, I, I, I loved every second of it. Um, and then them actually getting, um, to our level, I, I thought it was a great battle. I, I could see like how happy Scar was <laughs> like, I'm really here. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. And then he just goes, okay. All right. Ice monster. Let's go start freezing new ice age. <laughs> right. Like he wasted no time, but I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. 100 yeah. percent agree yeah um do you want to talk about how it ends or you want to save that uh i mean with the final battle i i mean uh, i mean we, we can i mean we've been dropping all the other spoilers and i, I think it kind of end in a for the most part probably a way people would maybe expect i don't i don't know um, right well at least concerning one of the characters like yeah, you know, score gets beat, but, uh, but um, is interesting though because as far as we know, after Shimu delivered that big blow to Scar, mm-hmm. I, Shimu just kind of like went off, right? Like it, it didn't. We didn't get any indication where Shimu went. We don't know what happened. Well, like we mm-hmm. didn't really see what happened to any of them because I think. Well, no, we got one more thing with uh, Kong, right? And Hall- mm-hmm. maybe, but yeah, we did. Uh, right, exactly, Ricardo. Spoiler alert: We're dropping everything here. <laughs> okay, cool. Um. All right. <laughs> okay, so um, Kong loses his axe, and yes. as he's falling through the portal, he loses his axe. It's like lodged into the sidewall, um, and you can kind of see him grab it. Oh, well, yes. uh, Siku was right. Siku, yeah, I can't remember now. Yeah. Uh, the young, you know, Kong son now. Baseball um, He basically grabs it and he goes through the porter to bring it to him. And so he yeah. kind of joins the fight with it. Um, then it's kind of like, you know, Godzilla goes after Shimu or Scar and they kind of go back and forth. You think Scar's going to get, mm-hmm. you know, Kong and then, you know, Godzilla steps up and saves him and stuff like that. But what I like is when they broke his little whip thing. And oh, yes. so he's controlling, like, I don't know what it is, like little spear or whatever. When it kind of drops off, yeah. I was expecting um, for uh, Godzilla to, to destroy it. I didn't think of little Suko coming over here and destroying it with the axe, which I thought was amazing. <laughs> 
I thought that was absolutely great. <laughs> um, and then I liked how, like, with um, with Shimu, she was kind of, like, rattled and kind of looking around because Rafi and I had talked about this because he's like, well, no. He goes, Mom, she's good. Like, that that thing's got to be a good guy. It's It's got to be good. And I was like, you think I said so? Scar's controlling it. How do you think? Do you think it's going to turn good? Well, she obviously did. She took, she literally like looked at Godzilla and looked at Kong, and she's like, "Cool, we're doing this," and just started yeah, freezing yeah. Scar. Like, I love well, that. That's, <laughs> that's funny because uh, I remember you mentioning that like a week or two ago on one of yeah. your just regular streams that I was part of, mm -hmm. and uh, and I was like, "Yeah, I don't think that's the case." Yeah, because um, right, I was wrong. Raphael was right. Good, good he was Zilla Boy. You should have listened to Zilla Boy. I know I should have. Zilla Boy knew. He knew. <laughs> he knew, and I was he had like, the nah, inside info. So. The inside right? info. He, had, he did. Uh, Zuko, like the Firebender. <laughs> That's Zuko, right? Zuko. It's very close. Uh, but um, but yeah. So I and you know I I love the fact of. You know, he literally had to stare Kong down when he's getting frozen to death. Like, that was the last thing you saw. Like, sucker, I beat you in the end <laughs> with your own little weapon. And then he just went ape on it, like how he does when he flips out. So I thought that was absolutely, that was great. And um, I do like the last scene that we see with them. I think, again, I think this sets it up perfectly for son of kong they literally he yeah. literally comes riding in on shimu with kong and he's holding kong's hand and they're all like right. yelling and the apes are like what like come on if i don't get it if we don't get a son of kong i'm gonna be really surprised <laughs> i'm not gonna let that go <laughs> yeah, yeah no they they've set out to be kong just like the most invested I've ever been in the Kong character. And they've yes, did yep. great job to them of everything they've been building in these uh, Godzilla Kong yep. movies. Makes just both so yeah. compelling. Um, and you're right, Rolando. Kong is now officially, I guess, King Kong now. Um, he's I didn't King think of the Apes. He's yeah, back to he's, being King now, of the Apes. Yep, absolutely. Now he's for sure. And so that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. I, I think they set up his next solo movie perfectly with everything that happened. Yeah, so. yeah. It'll be um, interesting to see if we now instead get a, a, a just like solo movie for both of them now. So we'll see yeah. where it goes. Um, I, I'm Absolutely. really looking forward to whatever they may do next. Yeah. Well, I mean, you saw like again when he was on his way to Tiamat, how many kaiju's were in the area. So yeah. I mean, it's not like he's out of business. You know what I mean? So well, I mean, I, mean, he, I he also have just think too, it's like yeah, we've gotten Mecha Godzilla, we've gotten King Ghidorah, and while those are arguably the two biggest Godzilla foes. Yeah. There's a bunch of other notable ones too that they could very easily bring in from all those from those Space, ones. Destroya. Exactly. Yeah. Oleai, because that one's from pollution. I mean, there's so many options to go through. Right. Exactly. I mean, you do have different mecha versions. So technically, because I mean there's like what, four mecha movies? Technically. <laughs> I was gonna say bring back Kong Adora versus Godzilla. Is a huge possibility. Yeah, I mean, there's so many, so many options that they could honestly go through. Um, so I don't think that's necessarily going to stop um, with that at all, which I'm all for it. Give us as much as you want. Because um, then, you know, I do have to wait patiently for another uh, minus one Godzilla movie, which he said he's not making any terms and he's going to take his time with it, which is great Good. to hear, but... Um, but there is going to be a sequel, so that's exciting with that. But um, as great as that no. movie is, just just make it great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, it's I I have to say when I watched so watching <sighs> the dreaded uh, Matthew Roderick one, the one that you love oh so much, uh, the <laughs> 1998 Godzilla. That is a T Rex. Okay, that's not Godzilla. That is a T Rex making babies. Okay, that's not a Godzilla movie. I remember watching it in the theater going, I, I don't remember Godzilla. Like, this is not the Godzilla I grew up with. Like, what is going on? I don't, I don't, I, rem I remember being so unhappy with it. And then, 
seeing previews for 2014 because I had just had Rafi a few months before. Um, he was born that January, came out April or whatever. And I was so excited. And it gave me the same feels that I had when I was a kid growing up watching Godzilla. And I just, I loved every, every movie, movie that we've gotten from this. You know, like uh, King of Monsters, <laughs> Godzilla yeah. Kong, the first one. Like, I, I love them because they give me that same feeling that I just absolutely love with the originals that I grew up with. So yeah, I'm the more they want to make, bring it on. I don't have enough. Let's do space. Let's do destroy a bully. I like, let's just keep going. Pedora. Let's do it. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, hey bear. Catzilla. Yeah. You like my name? Catzilla. <laughs> I thought it was appropriate, but uh, yeah. So, and I, I, I do, I do have to say, um, cause I've, I ask anybody, I've never been a Kong fan. I've always hated Kong. I watched the Peter Jackson version. Okay. Three hours of my life. I went back. Um, I really like that one, but okay. I, I just, but my problem is I just, I, I'm not a Kong fan. Right. I will have to say though, I watched before Godzilla versus Kong. Came out, I watched Skull Island and I was like, Oh, I actually really like him. Like it made me kind of like him. And then in their first versus movie, I was like, Oh, I actually really like Kong. So I'm I'm not I enjoy this version of Kong. I don't like any other version of Kong, but I do actually really really do like him. Yeah, I I, I do think it'd us. be interesting to see if uh that, that Peter Jackson King Kong holds up as mm-hmm. I I remember it. Cause like I don't think I've yeah. watched it. I haven't watched it since I've watched like Godzilla vs. Kong or even mm-hmm. Skull Island, so Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I like. I, would like I to haven't watched it, it since I've been in a theater, so sure. I don't. Um, well, maybe that would be the best thing I have. Over. Well, definitely. I could, there, yeah. I could probably find it off of there. For sure, but yeah, so. um, yeah, no, I, I overall though it was just a great movie, and uh, yeah. we'll definitely be watching again, and highly recommend. Lots of fun action. It's what you I. Yeah. I said the same thing about Godzilla vs. Kongo, where it's like what you want from a kaiju movie of them just mm-hmm. going at it with each other. You know, big monsters yeah. going at each other, having a fun adventure. And I think this one keeps yep. it up. So, Ab- absolutely. Great. Like, it was action packed with their first versus movie. And this one is just even more. But I, all the negative reviews, again, because I don't pay, I don't agree with a lot of critics anyway. I don't agree with it. It was emotional. I did get attached. I thought it was amazing. It was just a different perspective, basically, from what they were going through. But I, I loved every second of it, and I cannot wait to see it again. Like I want to yeah. see it again soon. For sure. So I definitely recommend it. I don't think you guys will be disappointed with it. I really enjoyed. Bear says I really. Enjoyed been enjoying this monster versus kong and guys that i yeah i think it's just another great yeah i agree great one from it i like i said i from beginning to end i was not disappointed i wasn't oh gosh like when are they gonna get to this not once i just thoroughly enjoyed every second of the movie so yeah uh something i was talking about earlier there was like i just really appreciate the world building makes it just mm-hmm. They have solid. They have a solid world that they're building here with these different connections, and I think that yep. really shows that they care about connecting to what they've already done, while also paving the path forward for both mm-hmm. Monarch and what this movie does. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so that's all I have with it. If yeah, there's yeah. something that we didn't discuss that you wanna share your thoughts on i would say do it now uh i don't think i have anything else i i, I definitely think we covered all the bases we, we talked a good Sweet. bit about everybody everybody was great yeah. um i really enjoyed it it's it's a just a great popcorn flick to go watch and yep. uh, i uh, i'll probably i good chance i may go back to see it so uh yeah yeah i I think if you can't, because it's different seeing it. Like, like I would have loved to have been able to see Godzilla versus Kong in the theater, because it, it does mm-hmm. hit differently. You know, mm-hmm. it's kind of like being able to see Star Wars in the movie theater. It just hits differently if you can see mm-hmm. it in the theaters. 
So I think yeah. if you can definitely try and go see it with that. So, yeah, for sure. Star Wars definitely hits differently in the theaters. That's for sure. Right. That's a whole it other does. conversation for another day, though. It um, is. It <laughs> is a different conversation with that. Yeah. Um, but thank you for doing this with me. This was Absolutely. a lot of fun, and I've been looking forward to it all week. So. Yes. Let's see. Why did it take a little girl to wake up Mothra? So, you know, that was something I was a little curious about, about the way Mothra formed. That was interesting. Well, it wasn't technically supposed to be a, not necessarily a little girl, but she was grown enough. So she has, so it had to be from the original tribe. That's who they're basically waiting for, is for that one person to come from the original tribe who had the power key to unlock her. So that's that's how I took it from what they were explaining in the movie. I don't know if I was mm -hmm. the only one on that, but that's how I took it is from what they said. Is that how you how you uh, I, I, understood? Yeah, that? I'm, I'm not. I'm not like I, that was kind of like or maybe the biggest part that I was like, well, I don't understand why, but like it, it definitely along the line. My, my guess is definitely along the lines of what you just said. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, that's what I was just like, because I was like, because it kind of, some of those parts do kind of go fast. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just like, no, I'm pretty sure they said it had to be somebody from the other tribe, that that's who they were waiting for, who had the power well, to wake her up. Yeah, they, they were talking about they had this prophecy, right? And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see though. I don't, I don't know. Mothra's in the people's eyes. Yeah. But yeah, so this was this was awesome. So um, yeah. I had a few people asking about a puzzle stream. So I'm going to end the stream, take about like five-ish minutes or not. I am going to then start a puzzle stream. So if you guys want to hang out still, you guys can welcome, welcome back, hang out. Whatever, everybody is allowed to come on that stream. So I'll put the link in for there if you guys want to come and hang out. But yeah, I guess we'll call it. Yeah, sounds good. Great chatting with you. You too. Thank you for doing that. Thank you, everybody that was in the chat. All of you guys are amazing. Wait, what is, is Mothra prettier in her than her first appearance? Which first? You mean the originals or like King of Monsters? Because I think she's gorgeous in King of Monsters and in this one. I mean, but I'm also, I, I don't, I mean, I think she's pretty in, in the originals. But. This definitely makes me want to go through and just watch. So something else I've heard, and oh, actually I did yes. have one thing I wanted to bring up. And yes. I, I okay. completely forgot that I want to ask you this. Yeah, she's was, gorgeous. I've heard from Fair. a lot of reviews, this is like a love letter to the Showa era. Um, yeah. Which I saw was uh, kind of like that whole first iteration of Godzilla. Um, and like, stuff. Um, yeah. What is it specifically about this movie that you would say um, why it is a love letter to the Showa era? Because when you watch Godzilla versus Mothra, you find her temple, you find the people and that kind of stuff. So you, it, it so literally, no, no, not okay. at all. So like when they first find that temple and you see Mothra okay. kind of in, in the stonework and stuff like that. It's and she said, you know, this is a place of worship, basically where they would worship her and stuff like that. That's very much um, you see that you see literal people like chanting and you hear the Papara! like they do it mm. over and over. So they have people that are specifically with Mothra on the island. So she may die or whatever, but she's laid a eggs, you know. So she has others. So if one dies, it's okay because she's already got others <laughs> that will evolve. And come out because she starts out as like a, a little squid thing here. Let me grab it actually. Yeah, I was, I was, I'll show I was you. really curious because I've just noticed several people say that, and I was like, well, yeah. I, I don't know what this means when so much is based around Hollow Earth, and it's <clears> like, <throat> it seems like what they're doing with Hollow Earth and Scar King is new, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, and so the Hollow so. Earth part, yeah, absolutely, but um. Not with the, the Mothra, so actually, I'm gonna gotcha. make this big screen. So, this is how she starts out after she hatches. So, she's basically like a little slug, yeah. And okay. then she will cocoon herself 
And then when she comes out, she's the butterfly that we know her. Or Ma. In the original, it looks like more like a butterfly, but. Yeah, yeah. I've so seen she'll shoot, so she'll shoot that original, buddy out. So I, know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, but no, that's that's kind of that what makes, it is. Because is, it's very, yeah. she's very, uh, she's highly regarded, that kind of thing. She's very well respected. And the other ones, and they do the exact same thing here. She literally has people guarding her, basically, so. Yeah, Larva, Moth, and Walter. It makes sense. Right? Yeah. Yeah. This is what she first looked like. There's also a, a quick question here. Who wins? Shimu yeah. or uh, King G? Zilla! Like, okay, you don't have to question it. It's Zilla. He's going to win every time. Yeah. We, although my my son has a debate all the time of um, Catzilla or Mothra. <laughs> Catzilla <Kat> wins. <laughs> Um, he says, well, he got his butt kicked because of uh, Mechazilla. And I said, yes, but he also, what, who, whose butt did he first kick? Kong's. He literally killed Kong. And then he's tired. You're fighting a robot that has no end to a power source. Of course, it's going to get tossed around. But guess what? If Mechazilla touched him with his atomic breath, he would have been toast. So just, it's, mm -hmm. it's Zilla. He's going to win every time. All right, we'll get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> so I can get ready for the other two. So <laughs> I will see everybody in a few minutes. Thank you so much to everybody that great came. You and great, great chatting. Great seeing everyone stuff. come by. Uh, lots of people that came by and hung out, and uh, yes. it was great having seeing so many people come by and check us out, even just for a little bit. And even Yay. for the people that may not be here and just looked at it at the beginning, I hope you all come back and just listen through um, what we do. So. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I, th I, I definitely know. felt like it was a great conversation. I definitely learned a couple things and uh, or a few things. And so it was great talking to you about it. And uh, yeah, yeah, great yeah. movie, guys. Thank Go you. watch it. Yes, definitely recommend it. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>